What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we're looking at how to add three digit numbers with bridging. Let's jump into it. Okay, so today we're going to look at these two examples here. Number one, 452 add 19. And number two, 468 add 56. And we're going to follow these two steps of success. We're going to use column labels and we're going to start with the smallest value. Let's look at what that means then. So first of all, when looking at the number 452 add 19, it's important to put our column labels on top. So let's have a look at 452 to start with, and I can see the 2 is in the 1s column, the 5 in the 10s, and the 4 in the 100s. And then with the 19, the 9 is in the 1s, and my 1 is in the 10s column. That means that when I put my 1s, 10s, and 100s in my columns for column addition, it makes it much easier to put the numbers in the right place. So looking at 452, I can see I have a 2 in the 1s, 5 in the 10s, 4 in the 100s, nothing too complicated there. But rather than making the mistake of putting the 1 and the 9 here, which a lot of people do, I can see that my 9 is in the 1s column and my 1 is in the 10s column. If that was a little bit tricky to understand, go back and watch that part again because this is really important for column addition. Now I can put my equal sign and my plus sign to remind me I'm doing addition, and I can go. The second tip was this one here. It said start with the smallest value, and the smallest value will be my ones in this case. So I'm gonna start by adding up my ones, and I have two add nine. Well, two add nine equals 11, and I don't wanna put 11 down here because this column is only supposed to have one digit in it, and obviously 11 is a two-digit number, so what can I do? Well, I can look at my 11 again over here, and I can see that I have a 1 in the 1s column and a 1 in the 10s column. So what I can do is I can put my 1 from the 1s column down here in the answer column, but I can put the 1 from the 10s column up here and add it to my 10s that are waiting to be added up. So I've just split this 11 into its 1s and 10s or the fancy word is partitioning that 11. Okay, now I can move across and work out all of my tens, and this time I have a five plus a one plus another one, and that equals five plus one is six, plus the other one is seven. So I can put seven as I have seven tens, and then over here in my hundreds, well I have a four on its own. So what I could do is put this little zero here to act as a placeholder, but it doesn't change the answer. But this little placeholder is very good practice to get into, particularly when we get into subtraction, which we'll look at in the next video. So four add zero is four. Leaving my answer to 452 plus 19 equals 471. Let's put that up here. Awesome. Awesome, let's have a look at question two. And again, start by putting our ones, tens, hundreds, and then ones and tens. This is a really good practice to get used to because then I put my ones, tens and hundreds in my columns and I can see that I have eight ones, six tens and four hundreds and then in my 56, six ones and five tens. Put my equal sign and my addition and I'm ready to go. Let's start with our smallest value, the ones and I have eight plus six which equals 14 and again I have that problem that this is a two digit number so I'm going to look at my 14 and I'm going to put my ones and tens, and now I can see that the ones can go into the answer of the ones column, which is a four, and the one that's in the tens column can go down here into the tens. I haven't really left a very good space for it, but we can see that it's there. Now I can look at my tens column, and I can see I have a six out of five, and my one, let's not forget it, and six out of five is 11, plus one equals 12. And same thing again, I have a two-digit answer. And now this gets a little bit confusing because what we're doing is we're adding tens. So really this is 60 plus 50 plus 10. So the answer actually is 120. We've just looked at it a little bit differently because it's in the tens column, we're just looking at the single digits. But this is actually a 60, this is a 50, and this is a 10. So our answer is 120. So therefore, we have nothing in the ones column, we don't need to worry about that. We have two in the tens column and a one in the hundreds column. That means I can bring my two into the answer and my one 
into the question. And now I can simply add up my hundreds and I have a 4 and a 1 which gives me 5. So the answer to 468 plus 56 is 524. That can get a little bit confusing. I really suggest watching that part again so that you get a full and good understanding before you move on. Let's look at what to remember. Always begin by putting the column labels. That is really, really important. I cannot express how important that is. Insert the numbers by putting the smallest value in line first and then begin adding from the smallest value. And if the answer is more than a one digit answer, then you need to bridge to the next column or partition those numbers and put them into the correct columns. Your turn. Have a go at answering these two questions. When you have an answer, put the answers into the comment section. I'm gonna try and mark them all. And there we go. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, think about subscribing to the channel. But for now, guys, I'm going to see you in another video. Peace out.